Hi there, it's Sandy Alnock, and today I'm going to show you how to paint a really simple tropical paradise so you can go on your own mini vacation. Sometimes when you're stuck at home, you need to take an art vacation by painting where you'd like to be. So today I'm going to paint a tropical paradise on an arches block of cold pressed paper. I've propped it up on a block so it's at an angle and I'll cover the paper with water. With a large brush, I'll add blue to the top, letting the gravity carry it down the paper to make a relatively even coat until I get to the clouds, where then I'll start to scuttle the brush to create a little unevenness in the pigment. Going to add a little bit of purple to the clouds by dropping in some quinacridone rose into the cobalt blue. And then another pass with the cobalt blue. Since the sky is still wet, I have time to do that. Next is cobalt teal blue for the water, but flattening out the paper so that it doesn't continue to run all the way down to the bottom. And I'll merge this in slowly with a sand color, yellow ochre. The sky is still very wet and I can dry a brush completely in a towel and begin to lift the clouds back out of the wet paint. In a slightly risky move, I'm adding one more pass of blue to the sky to deepen the color, but since it's getting drier, I need to tip the paper to even the paint out. Air dry or heat dry the paper for the next pass. Mix a nice dark green and with a very thin brush, make a line across the horizon and paint some trees in it using the brush at the side angle.
Next, add some offshore seaweed under the surface of the water. As the water comes ashore, leave air spaces in between to create waves and paint right over top of some of the yellow ochre sand to create transparency. With a thin brush held at the very back end of the brush, start to create the palm leaves. Be sure to use enough pigment and water for the tree to remain wet so you can continue to change the color, add in dark sections, and drop in lighter colors as desired to create some interest. Be sure to leave some open spaces so the tree is not solid. A nickel azo is a great color to add in to create some sunshine on some of the leaves. Add some of the tree trunk color to the leaves in the trees to create some depth. And if needed, then just add a quick spray of water to help the colors blend. If you enjoyed this little tropical vacation, click that like button. I know I certainly feel better for having painted it because I feel much more relaxed as though I had been sitting on the beach with a tropical drink far from all the cares of the world. If you try this painting, please do tag me over on social media. My social media links are down below, especially Instagram is where I spend the most time. Would love to see what you've created. If you haven't yet subscribed, please do, because I'll be back again in a few days with another video. Take care.